Hello, Sunny. Welcome to your PDF. Yeah. Let's start your SNAP interview on control systems. You are attending for DRDO interview. For that, this is the first SNAP on control systems. Okay. So the very first question is, uh, what is the order of a system? What is the order of the system? Yes. The so order of the system is defined by the number of uh, storage element. The number of storage elements it have equivalent storage element that the circuit have is defined by the order of the system sir what do you mean by equivalent so equivalent so equivalent if there are suppose there are two capacitors in series or in parallel so we have to make it equivalent one capacitor we have don't have to consider it as a two element we have to consider as a single storage element similarly likewise the inductors also sir if they are in series or parallel we have to first make equivalent and then we have to count it as a single unit, sir, not individual. Sir. Okay. Uh, what are the advantages of negative feedback using negative feedback advantages? So the advantages of negative feedback is that we have uh, we have the control over the gain, sir, gain of the system and also the negative feedback. I'm forgetting about it. So I will look into okay. it. Can you define what is time constant? A time constant. So time constant defined as the time taken by the by the system to reach thirty six percent of the final value. Uh, of what response? So of of, of the fine it, it it is the time required by the system to reach the 36% of its final value to define the time cost of that system, sir. I have a system, I have a system, okay, and input voltage is 5 volts. Yes, sir. For the same system, I am giving input voltage of 10 volts. Okay, sir. Now the time cost will increase or decrease or it will remain same? So it will remain same, sir. Okay. So time constant is going to depend upon what? The time constant is going to depend upon sir the in internal RC network that has been installed in that internal component sir. Basically the internal components are going to drive the time constant. In the system, sir. See, what is the time constant of a series RC network? Series RC network sir. Tau equal to sir, RC Parallel RC network? The parallel one by RC, sir. By RC. What are the units of time constant? Second, sir. So for series RC, you said tau is equal to RC. If RC is giving seconds, then uh, how much? What what might be the unit we are getting by one by RC? Sorry, sir, sir. For series and parallel, both are RC, sir. Okay. Fine. Let's take one transfer function. Take one transfer function. Yes, sir. S minus one by S plus one. Yes, sir. The transfer function represents uh, which filter? So it represents the uh, all pass filter, sir. Okay. Can you explain what an all pass filter is? The, an all pass filter is a is a RC network, sir, which we use. It. To provide the which we use to provide the phase to the system, sir. If we want to increase or decrease the phase, we can go with this filter, sir. We are having the constant gain. We don't provide any gain through this filter, but we can change the phase of the system. Sir. Okay. So take one more transfer function. Yes, sir. S plus one by S minus one. Yes, sir. So what kind of filter is this? First of all, does does this will work or not? No, sir. It won't be working, sir. Why? Sir, because the system is unstable, sir. In itself, it is not stable, sir. So it won't be used as a filter, sir. So what do you mean by a stable system? So a system is a stable system if we don't have don't have variations in the output for the 
similar input sir so if there is no any variation in the due to the internal digital variation in the output sir due to the sir, basically the output of the system should not be stable should not be sir hindered by the sir the change in the sir time or this type of parameters sir it should remain same sir the uh, a transfer function is going to have both poles and zeros so what is the significance of zeros uh, in a practical system so the zeros represent the sir so whenever we are going to change the parameters of the system sir by varying the parameters the zero represent the equivalent to the poles at infinity sir when the gain is very high then we will get the similar to the poles sir. okay what is the natural response of a system so when all the initial conditions that is the storage element which are present they are de energized and whenever we are taking the response of the system without with impulsive input only sir that is will get the natural response of the system see what is the difference between natural response and transient response natural response transient response transient response of the sir represent transient is re, transient response sir give the nature of the explain about the nature of the system sir whereas natural response natural response is the response when we applied the input sir impulsive then we will get the natural response see uh some systems are going to have steady state error yes sir what is the reason for getting the steady state error so the reason for getting the steady state error is because of the sir we have a suppose we have a system sir we applied some input the system will start from initial and we it will reach to its maximum but we want some final value sir it will oscillate about that so that's why we are it will oscillate about the final value so that's why we are going to get the, the steady state error sir okay so let me give you feedback uh, sunny kumar yes sir please uh, see i asked almost uh, 17 questions for you okay yes, the sir. first question was what is the order of a system Yes, yes, it is the number of independent energy storage elements. Means after simplification, we have to count the leftover energy storage elements in the system. That is okay. So, and after that, I asked what are the advantages of negative feedback. See, there are many advantages of negative feedback. Time constant will decrease, bandwidth will increase, right? The stability, if you apply properly, uh, uh, stability of the system is going to increase. The sensitivity due to changes in the forward path parameters is going to decrease. Okay. so there are many advantages of negative feedback we can prove all those advantages of negative feedback by taking some examples okay so i just and forgot have... i know it sir but i forgot at that point of time sorry completely got blank sir. so what is the time constant i asked uh, see it is very you given the definition which is not correct it is the time taken by the step response to reach 63.2% of its final value we have to take only step or impulse into consideration but because remaining all other responses uh, suppose if you take ramp and parabolic uh, it's a steady state value is infinite if you take sinusoidal response uh, it's a final value is unpredictable it may be any value okay why because it's um, it is making sustained oscillations its value is unpredictable right okay so next question i asked was is uh, if input changes what about time constant it will remain same that correct answer you given okay So time constant of series RC network and parallel RC network for both it is RC only. Yes. Yes. 
So S minus one by S plus one is an alpha filter. What is an alpha filter? Uh, you given some answer which is not suitable. An alpha filter is the one which allows all frequencies, uh, all frequencies. Okay, it is not going to attenuate any frequency. Mm -hmm. All frequency signals are allowed from input to output. That is alpha filter. Okay, then I given S plus one by S plus S minus one. Yes, it is unstable. What is a stable system? I ask. One of the very very important thing. A stable system is the one whose natural response tends to zero as time tends to infinite. Every system is going to have two responses. One is natural response, another one is, I can say, forceful response. Yes, the natural response is the system which is going to depend on the system. Okay, that response as time tends to infinity must decrease. Then that system is said to be stable. That natural response uh, is going to depend on the system poles location in explain. If any of the poles are there in the right of this plane or poles on imaginary axis with a repetition or without repetition, then the system is not stable. Okay. Yes. yes what is the what is the significance of zeros? I ask, but you did not give a uh, correct answer for that. Okay. See, if you take any response, uh, the response magnitude is uh, decided by the zeros, zeros of a system. Suppose uh, if you are taking one by s plus one, one by s plus one, it's a uh, response will be e power minus t. Suppose if you are taking a, a s plus 2 by s plus 1, its response also will be exponential. But uh, that uh, in what way it is increasing, it is decreasing. Like uh, whether it is increasing at a faster rate or decreasing at a faster rate or slower rate, these things will be decided by the zeros of a transfer function. What is the natural response of a system? See, the natural response of a system is going to depend on uh, system itself. Okay. So, System, see, the natural response of a system is decided by the system poles location in S-plane. Okay. Or the response which does not follow input is called as natural response. This is the more precise definition of natural response. Then I asked, what is the difference between natural response and transient response? See, transient response is the total response in the period called transient period. See, transient response is the combination of both natural response and forced response in the transient period. Okay, in that period, the natural response is having, uh, I can say, uh, the natural response is having a dom dominating nature when compared to uh, this uh, forceful right. response. Domination okay. means don't feel that it is going to be more than forceful response. Its value is appreciable or its value is comparable when compared, means it natural response value is in comparison with the forced response. Okay, what is the reason for steady state error was the last question I asked. The reason for steady state error is the mismatch of input and uh, the system. That is one reason. Another reason is uh, wear and tear or uh, I can say aging effect. These are the two reasons for uh, occurrence of steady state error in practical systems. So I recommend you to go for more technical uh, way to answer. Okay. Yeah. So you must think in an analytical way with reason. In DRDO, they will ask you to uh, derive few things, to prove few things. And they will link one subject with another subject. In that way, you prepare. Okay.